Welcome back, you guys, to the Kendall Doll Show. I am back again. I have a very amazing guest with me. This is episode three. Glad to have you, Danny. How are you? Oh man, I, I'm doing. I'm doing phenomenal. How are you? How's I'm it good. been? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Danny is like my best friend in New York. I promise. We like two peas <laughs> in a pie. So, um, everybody, everybody, if you don't know. And if you're not on social media, Forex is a really big deal now. It has changed people's lives. It's the new popular topic, um, trading currencies. That's what it is. And my first introduction with it was you. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I can I'm easily looking. say you kind of like the trendsetter for it. But my first introduction, uh, introduction with it was you. And you've always wanted to teach me what it was but i always said you know save it so when we do my show then you can talk about it and you can educate other people so right. i want to talk about it i want everyone to get educated on it just starting off can you tell us what forex is okay all right so well first of all thank you um thank you for having me on the show i, I remember when you were putting this all together so to see us here now is just like it's a, it's a dream come through. So I'm super, super proud of you Thank and you. grateful to be a part of it. Um, so let's really dive into it. So the there's a stipulation, right? So when we break down the word Forex, so Forex actually relates to the foreign exchange market, right? This is um where currency pairs are traded, um, buying and selling in the market. So it's a little bit different from stocks. See, with Forex, you make money when the market goes up and down, while with stocks, it's really more one-sided dimensional. You only make money when the company makes money. If the company loses money, you lose money, right? So, you know, Forex is really a market that deals with currencies. Anytime you travel, anytime you are looking to go overseas or you purchase something, like you order something maybe from China or from a foreign country or you ship something, all that money being involved are different currencies. And we make money based on the exchange of currency. So whether we're buying low and selling high or buying at a discount and selling at a premium, you know, there's different, you know, techniques and market analysis that we utilize, you know, in order to make an analysis of what to invest in and where. So it's just basically trading money, but you want to get in at the low point and you want to sell at the high point to turn a profit. So is it levels to trading? And, oh, and what I mean, and what I mean by that, the people who are trading, which are you, which is you, what mm -hmm. do you, you just call your, y'all are just called traders. So yes, but to kind of break it down more, there are different levels to trading, you know, like no one really ever masters trading. I mean, there are people that do, but no one really masters it you know most people start off as a beginner they're more of what we call in our industry you know what we call them is you know the baby fresh in you know they're they're more focused like on a retail you know it's like a business right you have retail mm -hmm. right then you have a middleman right and then you have like the wholesalers and the merchants you know so when it comes to trading you have retail traders which are like breaking it's breaking test or you know traders who are more using indicators, then you have like intermediate traders. And then the goal is to become an institutional trader. You know, that takes a lot of time to master, prepare. Institutional trading is what it sounds like in the name. It's basically trading like the banks, the institutional banks and the hedge funds and the big bucks in the market. Those are usually the market makers. So we're not there yet, but we're able to adapt some of their learning, adapt some of their concepts and apply it to our everyday trading style. So, you know, there are different levels and you can only get better every day as you go. So is that the level that you are? That's the goal. That's the level that you want to be on. Well, that's I'm partly on that level. So I'm an institutional trader. So I know how to trade like the banks, but I have not mastered it yet. Yes. So, you know, mastering it is, a, is an everyday uphill battle for sure. OK. And so for me and everybody else who wants to get to the level you want and to master and to go over and beyond with trading, what is that step by step? What does that step by step process look like? Because for someone that's new, uneducated, don't know what Forex is coming in, what process do they have to go through? Okay. So in, in reality, so 
everyone has a different peak, right? So for something that I was able to achieve and aim for was because I was, I actually wanted to do it, but there's a huge market, a $6.6 trillion market. And it doesn't mean you have to master it or get to a certain skill set in order to make money. So, you know, what I was able to do was I was, I found a company that I liked, you know, and I found a service and a product that they offered, which was, you know, teaching the basics of trading, the fundamentals, right? And they had products that helped assist people in understanding strategies, learning how to place trades. And I was able to build on top of that. So what I do for a lot of my students is, you know, I bring them in through the academy, right? Have them learn the basics, learn the foundation, and then we assist them to make money. You know, you don't need a lot of money to trade. Mm -hmm. There's, you can make money off the cents off the dollar. And also there's two types of trading. You have the Forex side and binary option side. You know, Forex is more of a longer pace. You're in a trade for, it's intraday trading. You're in a trade for a couple of hours per se. And, you know, binary options is in and out of the market. You know, you're in a trade for three, five minutes and you can make your money. So I usually start people off with binary options where they can make a few bucks, a few hundred, maybe a few thousand within a few minutes. And then the goal is to get them advanced to, start to be able to read the charts and create an analysis and become a, a forex trader in terms of from an institutional level. Okay. I have to voice my concerns with forex because just Please. only because of what is out there, what I've heard about it and not per right. se that it's by someone who is educated on it like you, but there are rumors. Different things I've heard is mainly it's a scam. I've heard that. I have heard that it's a pyramid scheme. I, I've heard that, you know, there's someone at the top and then there's people under you and then you make money off those people and then the people that those people sign up and it just keeps trickling down, which is why they call it a pyramid scheme and which is why they say it's illegal. So I want you to defend Forex. I know you're very, you're very adamant about it. You take it very seriously and I want everyone to dead that rumor like what's up with that right um no and you know and all honestly i was under the same impression um especially back like when i was at st john's you know there was a, a chance where i actually missed out on buying bitcoin back at st john's when bitcoin was about maybe it was really low that it was probably like four thousand five thousand dollars and you know now bitcoin current today is about forty seven thousand fifty five thousand dollars per coin you know, so th the reason why, you know, you know, people associate the word Forex and like a pyramid scheme or a scam in the same sentence is because, see, there are companies, right? There are individuals that market the results, market the idea of, you know, making money fast. You know, that in that lane, they are, how would you say, it, trying to leverage something they haven't learned. And yes, mm -hmm. that may not be considered a scam, but it is considered wrong. Because see, Forex isn't an overnight process. It's not something you can just wake up and say, hey, I'm a Forex trader and, you know, I, I'm going to make all these millions of dollars. Because in reality, that's not the case. And there's a lot of preconceived misconceptions for that because there are people that, you know, take capitalize on the opportunity just like anything else. You know what I'm saying? No matter the industry, you know, there's going to be someone that wants to capitalize on something that actually works. You know, but I always tell people do their due diligence, do their research, right? I did a lot of research uh, from YouTube and, you know, Googling on Bloomberg and, you know, trading is real. The foreign exchange market is real. But yes, there are people that give it a bad name. There are people that promote these courses and promote these things like they're a gift from the, the man upstairs and that it's going to change your life. And in reality, that can only happen if it's changed your life exactly. and a lot of times it don't now when it comes to the trickling down system so the the preconceived misconception about that is um when you build the business right it, a lot of people in the industry yes there are people that do this and just like anything else we are all we have all bought something from marketing right we go to certain we go to certain schools for marketing we go to certain restaurants everything is a recruiting process in life right your job recruits you Right. Your your what you like and what you want to do recruits you. This if you want to go out to a club, it recruited you based on what it markets and puts out there. And what a lot of people do is they get that misconception, right? And they kind of jump in too fast because they don't do their research. 
Because yes, there are people out there. This it, in any industry, you can get scammed. Whether you were buying tickets for an event, or mm-hmm. whether you were you taking a real estate course, whether it's to learn forex, you know what I'm saying. But the system of building the business, that that MLM structure. Right. It's also something you have to educate yourself on, because, you know, at first I thought that was something that was uh, that was wrong, you know, and then I started to really, you know, push things into play. And I started to do my research and I realized that you see uh, MLM, right, is a multi-level marketing system. Right. But the reason why it's not necessarily a scam and why it's not a pyramid scheme, because one, obviously pyramid schemes are legal. And for someone with myself that has different background in business and different businesses, I never associate myself with that. But for two <laughs> is that in the system, anyone that you possibly bring in to build the business, right? Mm-hmm. If it if it's mandatory, this is a very distinction right here. If it is cert- something that is mandatory, then it's considered a skin or then it's considered a pyramid skin, okay. right? A lot of companies offer this as a supplemental source of income. Now, yes, some people just do that and you can question their integrity and ethics. But for me, I was a person that said, no, I want to master this, right? Get to the level of comfortability, get to the level that I can show the next person. And that is a rightful way to do that. But look, it took me a year to change. It wasn't a over the night process, but a lot of people were like, Hey, I'm going to just market this whole business on how to learn how to trade. But you always have more questions. It's like going to class, right? Sometimes Mm -hmm. you need a tutor. Sometimes you need a teacher's assistant. You can't just expect to know everything just from going to class or reading a couple of books. You You know, so that's really how it works across the board. You mentioned, and um, you mentioned to me, you said it about changing your life if it hasn't changed your life. So I think what I want everyone to know is I want everyone to know your testimony. I want to know how it has changed your life right. coming from you. How has Forex impacted you to be here and to say, this is a real legit business. It's not a scam and I do it and I'm trying to be the best at it. I'm trying to master it. What has it done for you personally? Well, every single day, um, to be honest, one of the biggest things is that um, th- this opportunity, learning this skill set, like this is a skill that pays the bills. This skill set, you know, has given my mother a chance to, you know, stay at home. You know, my mom only works part time now from home and she doesn't have to go into work. You know, she's much older. There was COVID, this whole you, I don't want to say apocalypse of the world, but this whole shift in the world. And I was able to teach my mother how to trade. So she has a trading account. She compounds it. And she's been able to grow that to, you know, a massive amount where now she's comfortable. That's amazing. You know, so that was the first impact. Now, the second was, you know, I used to live in New York. Mm-hmm. Well, I still do, but I still have a crib in New York. Yeah, I was able better. To, to grab a, a condo out here, two bedroom and, um, uh, right here in Houston, okay. right? Beautiful penthouse, two bedroom, panoramic balcony. I mean, it's just like 700 feet up in the sky. And, you know, I'm only 24. I've been able to see massive amount of, you know, financial success, even though there's a pandemic. It's like I turned a pandemic into a pandemic. And that's something where not only that, but every single day, you know, I have a team now. I have trading sessions. So every single day I'm able to help individuals make money. And yes. that's where the greater impact comes from. Because, you know, for me, I've always lived a great life, whether it was doing entertainment, events, you know, I've always, you know, just been on top. Mm-hmm. But this was the opportunity where I could actually bring my friends on top, you know, and I realized I that it. this works solely off of me. So what I put in is what I get out. And that's something that I've never really been able to have. Mm-hmm. I wasn't always able to control the variables around me. Mm-hmm. But now w- my success my parents' success, my team's success is solely dependent on the work we put in. So if you go hard at it every day, if you study, if you focus, if you have the willing to learn, you're going to be successful. And that's wow. probably one of the greatest impacts is that, you know, I've seen people, you know, who were once homeless. Now, within a year, being able to get out, move out of a shelter, yes. right? And now be able to build up credit. And they had income coming in now from trading. And now they are 
having mortgages. Now they're getting homes from rent. You know what I'm saying? I've seen people who used to live in New York moved halfway across, you know, the United States, California, started a new business. I see a lot of entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs at that, be able to use this extra source of income because it's Forex, it's HFX, it's cryptos. So you already have three sources of income from this one opportunity. And now they're able to invest in real estate. They have assets. Mm -hmm. They're able to travel. They're they're able to go around the world, including myself. It's not just about me. Travel. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. thing, a big po- point about traveling that I want to make is when I was first doing the show, my first guest always, I always wanted to have Danny. I was going to do the show in New York, but uh, Danny yeah. was traveling. And I was like, where is he going? And he went all the way overseas. I don't even know. Where did you go? You was there for almost two months. Yeah. Where were you? So um, I had went to London. Um, I was in Rotterdam, Netherlands. I went to Amsterdam and I also went uh ended up in spain barcelona spain and madrid spain so this traveling is it for forex section info sessions is that what it is y'all travel and y'all seem like y'all having the time of your life i won't say that's mainly why i want to join but that is why i want to join (laughs) y'all are going everywhere they turn they lit they go everywhere (laughs) and i know it's not just about having fun you know, right. not just about partying and having a good time. So tell me about those traveling events when y'all go to different places. Oh, man. I mean, so the traveling by far is what, you know, I never even knew when I when I first got started. Yeah. But the thing is that, remember, Forex is the foreign exchange, right? So foreign means worldwide. Yes. So the reason why we're able to travel so much is because most of the money we make is from our homes. So the same phone I'm using right now to be on in this process is the same phone I trade during the week to make money. Mm -hmm. So now that you change the frequency to not physically having to work somewhere where you can work on the go, you can make money from the beach. I've made money from a penthouse in Rotterdam, you know, with a few of my mates. Um, You know, I've traveled in the airport and made money. I've been on a yacht and made money because you're making money from your phone. So When you travel, most of my traveling, like I only went to Europe for one week, weekend, Mm -hmm. which was to go to London for one of our conventions. But the rest of the time in Europe was all travel. I didn't need to go to Spain. I didn't even need to go to Rotterdam and Amsterdam. But it was because I had money coming in and then I had the consistent money of trading from being able to trade wherever I was at. All I have to do is make a withdrawal of Bitcoin. And that's it. It goes straight to my Chase or my Capital One card. So I was able to really make money on the go. And that gives you a whole different perspective of life. Because imagine going on a vacation and it never has to be. Is it really a vacation? I, it's like an overstay. It's a paid staycation. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I went to Europe and I didn't have a return date because the only reason I returned, honestly, was because of COVID. COVID had started to break out there and I returned in March. I went out there from what, February? Yeah, February. You was gone a long right. time. I was so upset. Right. But you right. was doing so, you. You yeah, was having so it was, a great time. It was it was definitely splendid. My you know, only like, concern with Forex, um, and this is why I've been kind of um hesitant on joining, is because mm-hmm. of what I witness people do like when they want me to join, not mm-hmm. you, of course, but people that DM me, people that snap me, people that hit me up, they always they are always sending paragraphs and almost like harassing people. And one thing that I want to do because people everyone would tell me Oh, is this somebody from Forex? Is somebody from Forex who want me to join? And one thing about me, I'm not going to beg nobody. That's one thing I'm not Mm going to do. So I don't want to be, if I want to trade, if I want to make money trading, I want to know how can I do it without trying to get other people to do it, without asking other people, can you be a part? I just don't want to, you know, be a nuisance. I want you to see what I'm doing. I want to promote it as well as I can or whatever, but I don't want to stalk anybody or blow up anybody's space trying to get them to join under me or be on my team. 
And that's my only concern with Forex. So, you know, recruiting people, is that necessary for me to do when it comes to joining? Absolutely not. In, In fact, the recruiting aspect is really just done by a few percent. Like I, I can at least speak for my business. Now I have a probably about a 96% ratio of just customers because see, this is the thing, right? Forex is not for everyone. And that's just a reality. Yeah. I, I disagree with people and you know, baby girl, I always say this, right? You will not see me DM someone talking about, Hey, do you want to make money? Or do you want no? That's just not my character. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just I'm too well established, <laughs> even from a four forex, to really do that. Because mm-hmm. see, the way I work is off of what attractive marketing, my lifestyle, my success, my story, right? Because in reality, that's the only thing that's real. Mm-hmm. Because j- why in reality does it take for someone to have to harass you for you to join? I, if the most I do is hold an informational call or I post on my story or people on my team posting our story, it's our results. And you see that every day. Every right? day. And the fact you probably don't even want to watch my story. I don't. You, I told so you that. I said I see results. a chart or a diagram every day. I right. see Danny's story. That's he right. lives, eat, breathe, sleep, right. all of it. Because it's making me money. You know me. We went to school <laughs> together. Yeah. I don't do anything that doesn't make money. Back. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, there are people that hound people. And honestly, I, I feel sorry for them because they don't understand that. See, this is a business. I don't. People need in reality, people need me. People need my skill set yes. more than I need them. And it sounds crazy. But the difference is I can walk into the airport tomorrow, hop on a flight and go across the world. And I will be fine. And I don't, I don't have to plan. Being able to have a sporadic and spontaneous life is one of the best things ever. Not you see what I'm saying? No I don't have to. Nothing. Right. No, not even being cocky. I'm just, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing where it's like when people see that, when they express that, you know, like I told you, I was like, hey, my, my team was in Atlanta next week. I'll be in Dallas in about three weeks. It's just because we're, we're always able to be on the go. So if someone can't use their uh, recognizance to understand that, wow, this could be something to change your life, then that's fine because it's not for everyone. At the end of the day, you know, as I, you know, tell people, someone has to open my door downstairs in the lobby. Someone has to deliver my package. Someone has to create the food. No, you're laughing, but I had to look at life that way because if, if if it was for everyone, then it would not be a thriving opportunity. And I'm laughing because I'm, I'm, I love it. I love it. I'm not <laughs> laughing to make fun of you. I absolutely love it. You know I'm right, bougie. Right. So I right, yeah. I love it. I love the good life. So right. I'm just glad you got a chance to come on the show and explain yourself. Danny said his mother doesn't have to work a day in her life anymore. He said he can travel the world and stay. Doesn't have to be a vacation to him if he overstand himself because he's there <laughs> as long as he want. Um. It's a lot of benefits that's coming from this. So if you're not trading, if you're not, you know, want to be a part of something big, if you have any financial, any financial trouble, Forex is waiting. You're always there to help, I'm sure. And I really appreciate you coming on today. I know you're very busy. You and your package <laughs> deliveries and all of that you got going on and opening your door for you. I'm sure you're very busy. So I I'm really, a <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're amazing. No, like when you, when anyone comes to visit, they, they call you up. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Pottinger, we have uh, so your brilliant. guest here. Would you like us to send them up? I don't have to go downstairs. I don't have to buzz nobody. I don't have to do nothing. He got a life. If that's not the life, if that's not the life you want to live, hey, I, that's that's by all means, you know. But I'm gonna make sure that you know I, I have a pool that's heated all year round. Yes, I'm sir. gonna make sure the spas down the street. I'm in one of. <laughs> You know, like, yes. no, you know, like, hey, my, my color is limited in this area. You know what I'm saying? And that's not not saying it like, oh, it's a it's a bad thing. But in reality, it's just a different perspective of life. And sometimes it takes an opportunity in order for you to see that. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, on thank again. you. I can't wait to see you. 
But Thank I really you. enjoyed this interview. We got a lot accomplished, and I'm definitely going to. I know I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely going to check in the forex. I I think this is a thing for me. I think it's something I want to do. And the way Danny make it seem, I know it's something I want to do. So thank you very much for coming on. Of course. You guys, this is the Kendall Doyle Show, and we'll be back next week. Thank you for having us. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe. Please tune in. Every week we're going to be here. So signing out, Kendall Doyle Show.